Hello friends, welcome back. We have been learning a lot on One API and this time we are going to start with the installation. Yes, we are going to install the One API toolkits and it's going to be fun and easy as well. We'll start with the One API base toolkit and based on your requirement, we can start installing more onto it. You need to go to the toolkits page, which I will give in the description part of it. And if you click all toolkits, you'll get the details of all the toolkits available. And we are going to install first the One API base toolkit. And it has got all the facilities. I've already explained you what it is. Now it's time for us to go ahead and install that. Yes, that's what we are gonna do right now. Just click on the One API base toolkit and go to download the toolkit option. Well, you can do that in Windows or Linux operating system or Mac and it's your wish. I'm going to do that with Windows and then I'll demonstrate also with Linux a little later in the same session and it'll be interesting. And the point here is we need to make sure that we follow the steps carefully and it's easy. Once you follow it, you'll be able to see the results instantaneously right on your screen. Let's go with Windows first. The moment you select Windows, we've got an option to go ahead and select the distribution as online and offline. That's the only option available and it's recommended. But the installer type is available here. You can go with online installation, which will feature the customized installation. The download will be a very short duration download because the installer file will be very small. But one point that you need to remember is you need to have a very active internet connection at the host machine all the time and it downloads the components at the same time during the installation and it may take a little bit of time for that and it also creates an option to create an offline installer as well but i prefer to go with offline installation and it includes all the toolkit and you can download it uh, for the machine which has got poor internet connection or no internet connection indeed so i'm going to download this just clicking download i need to go ahead and sign up for the facility that I'm going to use. So I have already got the sign up done. So I am using it right now in front of you and the installation can be done after the download, which will start right in few seconds. So I have clicked that and you can see that it's a big file. It's about 3.4 GB. It's a, it's a real big file. So you may have to wait for some time for this to completely get downloaded. And once it is downloaded, it's very easy for us to install and we can go ahead and explore it as well. I'm going to show you that. Just give me some time until the installation is done. We have to wait. Hello friends. Uh, we are now going to install the One API base toolkit. I have downloaded the installer and this is available in front of you. You can see that. Can I go ahead and install that? No, there are a couple of prerequisites that you need to definitely meet before you install, before you try to even install one API. The first one is to install the Visual Studio. So I recommend you to install Visual Studio anything like 2019 or 2022. But while installing, make sure that you have this workloads option and under that the desktop development with C++ enabled. This is mandatory. Please download the Visual Studio from official uh, link and community edition is enough. And from that, please go ahead and click this workload. There, the desktop development with C++ is mandatory. It's to be enabled. Okay, what's the next one to do? We need to have the Intel distribution of Python installed properly without which it won't work. I'll give you this link from where you can download the proper version of Python, Intel distribution of Python for you to install. And you can see that here, I'll just show you how exactly we have done it. You can see that here we have Intel distribution of Python for Linux, for Windows, and both the online and offline versions are available. I preferred offline version and I have already downloaded it. I'm going to install it for you right now. So here you can see that I'm trying to install. Extract it, it takes few minutes. And once this is done, we get a base set and after which we can go ahead and start installing the Intel One API base toolkit. I have already installed it so you can see that it is giving an option to modify. I'm not going to do anything because I've already installed it nice and it took about 10 minutes for me to install everything. Just double click that. It will take time and it will install it and the installation location is also presented very clearly here. And now you have the Intel distribution for Python with you. Well, what next? We can go ahead and start the process. I'm going to install Intel One API base toolkit. I repeat, I'm going to install the Intel One API base toolkit. I'm extracting it after I double click it, it automatically goes on to the stage. And now you can see that it is happening all by itself. 
it will verify if we have met all the requirements in terms of uh, the integrity check so it tells what are all the things that will be what are all the toolkits that we will get when we install it it starts with compatibility tool gdb dbc plus plus library it goes on till the one ap deep neural network library vtune profiler is part of it advisor is part of it so there are a bunch of it which you will definitely use i will also help you in understanding how do we do it a little later just click next 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 if you do not have any problem i give consent to collect the data because i am sure it will help me in getting the r and d done from intel side and it will definitely give us better results in future as well now the installation is all starting you can see that the installation is in progress already we have installed couple of things the intel distribution for python is ready so it will install rest of the things and we should just sit back and relax so it will all happen really fast and it will not take a lot of time and i have been using this i have been installing it in two three pieces and after that i come to conclusion that this is the best way to go ahead and set up things and install so this will be faster you may have to spend about 10 to 15 minutes maximum in installing everything all together but otherwise it will not take more time let's sit back and relax and let's get things installed by itself all right the integrity check is complete and it may take about 10 minutes maximum and it says that do not interrupt the installation process yes almost 96 percent is complete and we are nearing the completion of the installation so let's stay back and wait for some more time and it's all done and that's it we have installed the one apa based toolkit and we are in the final phases of it let's have some patience and this will all be done that's all we have installed it and that's it we have installed the one api base toolkit v2022.2 that's all so i'm going to show the same in the next video in linux and then we will start installing other kits as well over and above the one api base toolkit i hope you enjoyed this session if you have questions please come back to me i'll be happy to answer thank you